Hello everyone, hope you're having a good day. So let's move on to the Canard slash McMurdo. Now if you see them in orange, it'll say McMurdo. If you see them in yellow or vice versa, there's a few different models out there, but basically a Canard is a McMurdo and a McMurdo is a Canard. They're the same, just different colors. Always make sure when it's in a life jacket, it's not in a locked position. The locked position is this tab right here. So you gotta make sure that tab is hanging with the pole on it. Cause if it's in here, it's never gonna deploy, that's locked. I've seen them a lot, opening life jackets in a locked position because they didn't know. So let that hang down like that. To deploy it, you're gonna pull this. There's your antenna and it's going off. I'm gonna hold down, turn it off. Let's get that back in position, wrap that around. Get that back on and it probably is gonna turn back on. And it did, hold it off again. And now you're turned off. So this is ready to deploy in pull position. This is locked, not ready to not ready to deploy position. All right, so let's open up this life jacket so we can get a little familiar with how it's gonna go in there. So there is your oral inflation valve. Let me turn it towards you. So obviously you saw the antenna is gonna flip out and come from this direction. So if I do this, Obviously, the antenna is going to deploy into the life jacket. You do not want that. And you're going to be floating in it in this position. So you want it on here, in this position, with your pole hanging. So if I'm wearing the life jacket, the antenna is going to deploy straight out that way. My pole's down here. Everything's ready to go. This is how you want it on there. Now, this is the automatic lanyard. So what I would do is untie it from this section here and only leave this part hanging here so it can pull. So what's supposed to happen is you would flap that up, tie this down in such a way that when this flap kicks out, it pulls this bottom piece off. But that doesn't always the case. Not every life jacket is exactly perfectly like this. Some don't even have flaps like this. So you could tie this to your blue in the face and it's never going to deploy that way. So always be ready to manually pull this with the Canard slash McMurdo. Some life jackets, it's easier and you can get it to auto pull, but not everyone does that. So make sure your AIS is set the correct way. So let's go over it real quick. Make sure this is out, not in the locked position through here. Make sure you can see the face of the AIS unit so when your antenna flips out, it comes straight that way. And even if you weren't using this to automatically pull, this is still a safety lanyard. If you left it attached to this side here and then tied it off, if your unit falls off the oral inflation valve, you won't lose it in the drink. So pay attention to the kind of AIS you have, how it's locked, how it's armed, and how it pulls. And this one should go in there face first, just like this, with the pull ready to go. See how hard that is to pull? Life jackets don't inflate at a super, super fast rate. So sometimes this lanyard set in auto pull, as this is inflating, will actually kick it to the left or to the right. Now you're getting, not getting enough tension on there to auto pull that. So make sure and be ready to manually pull it if it did not go off, no matter how it's set. Or you can set them in there for manual deployment only. It's up to you and the kind of life jacket you have. I hope this gives you the top tips on the Canard slash McMurdo.